No different than all sports across the NCAA, the women's soccer season does not look the same as seasons in the past. This year, the Rebels are playing an eight-game season facing all six teams from the SEC West and two teams from the SEC East. Following their regular season, all Southeastern Conference teams get the opportunity to go to the double elimination tournament. The Rebels have never played a season like this before. Sophomore forward and midfielder Sadie Holland says. So usually we have like um, non-conference games to start our season off. And it's kind of like an easier shift into the season. But now we start off right away with um, in-conference games. Like we played Texas A&M first, which is obviously a really tough game. Scheduling is not the only difference the Rebels are seeing this year. Senior Molly Martin said there are limitations and restrictions that have impacted practices, games, and travel. It's different. Like in the locker room, we couldn't all be in there at one time for the first part of the season, and we have to take two buses to games, and we get tested three times a week, and it's just – it feels like an entirely different season, which is weird, but it's been good so far. The Rebels have high hopes for the season and their upcoming tournament. With a strong freshman class and only having lost two seniors from the 2019 season. I think one of our strengths is that we have such a big senior class. And so they've, all, they've been here for so long. They know um, what it's like. And they've been able to pave the way for us and just show us um, the ropes and everything. So I think that's definitely been um, helpful for us this season is just to have that many leaders on the team. The senior class will have the opportunity to be leaders on the team again next fall, as no players will be using a year of eligibility this season. It's exciting to see how much the younger guys like buy in and having our backs because they know how much work we put into it for the past four years. And now that we get another year with them, just the chemistry we build both on and off the field is so exciting. And like I said, like getting another year, I'm just very thankful that my last season isn't cut down to eight games. Martin said at first when the Rebs thought there was a normal season, they expected to have a better record than last year. But with the shortened season, it was a little different. Our hopes are still high. We're still chasing trophies, chasing rings, and we're hoping to do really well in the SEC championship. Holland says entering the preseason, they were not entirely sure if they would have a season or not. The unexpected caused the team members to have a mindset of not taking anything for granted with getting the opportunity to play. Martin says she thinks their biggest strength this season is the depth of their roster. Probably two sets of 11 that could all be starters and – that's really encouraging knowing that if someone gets subbed out, you have the same level of intensity and skill coming right back in behind them. And I think that's something that not a lot of SEC teams have that we're able to use against them to our advantage. The SEC tournament will hold all SEC teams November 13th through 22nd this year, giving every team an opportunity to compete no matter what their regular season record was. Um, I think that it's kind of exciting that we everyone gets to go down no matter what your season holds. Like we're playing less teams, so it's not um, as telling as a season as it would be like last year. But I think it's cool that everyone gets a chance to show um, what they're made of. And no matter the outcome of the fall season for the Rebs, fans can look forward to seeing this team play again in the upcoming spring. This year is extra special and also more exciting because there's only so many conferences playing this fall and most conferences have been moved to the spring and we're blessed to get to play in the fall and spring. The Rebels currently have an overall record of 2-3 to three with wins against LSU and Alabama. They hope to perform well in the SEC tournament in Orange Beach, Alabama starting on November 13th.